Hello world and welcome to the I gotta get this I gotta get my phone out for this one. The NCRVDA RV show here in Charlotte, North Carolina, right at the Park and Expo Center. Um, we've really we travel a lot and things and we've thought about buying an RV, but I have a Jeep, so I don't know really how much I can tow. Probably not much of a camper, but we're we like to come out here and look at these campers and see what they have, what they're like, and we might buy one one day. I don't know. But I'm going to take you in here and show you some campers and see what this thing is all about. So let's go have some fun. I started the video out in front of these pipe dreams of campers for me. Goodness gracious, these things are like four hundred and six hundred thousand dollars right here. One of these days, I think we're going to go in and check this one out. Look at the price on this sucker. $599,000. Let's go see what a $599,000 RV looks like. Nice stairs. Got some flooring here. Holy moly. Kabam! Look at that. I'm going to need to make a couple more videos for this one. <laughs> it has a problem, though. What's the problem? It doesn't have bunk beds. It doesn't have bunk beds. Okay. This is trash. Not really. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. That was in reference to our daughter, by the way. She wants bunk beds. Stand up shower. This is nicer than my house. It costs more than my house, so it should be nicer. Look at this control panel for this thing. I feel like you're driving a spaceship or something to the International Space Station. What in the SpaceX? <laughs> now, to be honest with you, I would absolutely love to have a camper like that, but towing it, I guess you wouldn't tow that because you drive it, but you'd have to tow your Jeep or whatever other car you're driving. That's going to be a long setup. And that's a little stressful. You ever see how people drive on the road? I don't know if I want to, like, drive all that and have to, you know, maneuver that big setup through about all that traffic and stuff. It'd be tough. Now, this little blue camper, we've already looked at before at a dealership. It's more of the size of something that I could tow with my Jeep, but it's a little too small for us, so... I don't know. Beggars can't be choosers, but I don't know if I want to stay in that for a month or two in Florida. All right, we're going to head on inside here. We paid for tickets. I think they were around $9 each for an adult. And if you buy them here at the Park and Expo Center, you pay a dollar more. So I think they're around 10 bucks. So you get a little discount buying them online. All right, we're all checked in and ready to go. There is a little food court over here that was open last year. It's not open yet this year, but it probably will later. Over there's some vendors and things. I think we're gonna head over here to Freedom Hall and see what kind of RVs they have on that side. This place is huge, by the way. You're gonna see a lot of campers. Now, my Jeep is a JLU, so it's rated at about 3,500 pounds, and the hitch weight is obviously 350 because it's 10% of the total weight that it can tow. So I'm pretty limited. But I don't know. We're going to throw a Hail Mary and see what we find. First up, we're going to go into this Imagine camper here. Bumper pull. Oh, I about fell on the stairs. First one up and I about fell. Got some bunk beds. I would love that as a kid, you know. Crawl back in that little cubby space. Play some Nintendo Switch. Stand up shower. This is nice. And up front, oh, I like where the TV is too. That's one of my problems with campers is a TV placement. And here is the master bedroom. Looks like maybe a queen bed and tons of storage. Nice. Now I want you to note that I am no expert on these campers. So I may say something a little off if I do. Politely educate me in the comments. I'm okay. I want to learn too. Um, but we used to like these Cherokees right here. I think, if I'm not mistaken, they have like a wolf pup one. And we used to like those. But, I don't know, it's going to be too much weight for my Jeep. But they're cool to look at. Let's go check this one out, this Cherokee. It's got some lights up in the awning, I like that. Wow. See, this would be fun, right? No bunks or anything. Big closet, though. Nice bathroom. Big old table. I like the, the black counters or the black cabinets, I mean. That's nice. Here's the price for that one, 32865 This Transcend over here, usually they're 
um, like lower priced campers. So we're gonna go check this one out. Look how big it is. It's got two doors on it. $34,991. So almost $35,000 for this. Some of the other smaller ones we were looking at were like, I think they were like $36 and they were smaller. There's the bathroom. Look at that. They got the bunk beds behind the couch on this one. I really, really like that. And they're big bunk beds too. Got a curtain on this one. Definitely be, oh, it's $34,991. That's what this says. This would be a fun one for a kid though. Could you imagine living in Florida for the summer in this? We got some Mercedes vans here that are campers. Oh, this one isn't Mercedes. It's by American Coach, American Patriot. Whew, 199. Wowzers. Let's go in here and check it out though. Oh, it is a Mercedes right there is a, it's a Mercedes platform with a camper on it. It's a little tight, but geez Louise. Got a, you can sit right here on the couch and watch your TV here. Hey everybody. Cruise ship bathroom. Cruise ship bathroom. This one's kind of cool. It's called a range light Highland Ridge. Let's go inside and check it out. See what it's like. Whoa. I got to get used to these steps. All right. It's got a big, huge, like, living room area right next to the kitchen. I kind of like campers that have this, like, living room area. You see, like, a bigger feel to it when it has its own living room. But... I don't see any bunk beds and my daughter wants some bunk beds. We might have to get a bigger camper and just leave it in Florida and pay someone to tow it to the campground for me since I don't have a truck. I did have a truck, but I sold it. And then we decided to look at campers, so lucky me. They even have boats down here that you can look at. I don't think I'm gonna be buying a boat today though. Probably not gonna buy a camper today either, but definitely not buying a boat. But look how many campers there are in this one room. We still have like, if I'm not mistaken, two or three more rooms to go. Let's walk down here and get a shot of this too. They're just everywhere. It's a huge convention center and they just stack them in here. It's pretty cool. Let's go in here and take a look at this Transcend Explorer. This one is $34,491. That's what the price says there. $7,000 discount for shows. That's kind of cool. You get it on a sale price, but wow. I'm telling you all, this stuff is nice. Kitchen right there. I'm gonna zoom out and do a wide angle. That seems to be better working than the regular angle. <laughs> Kitchen table there. I love how the couch faces the TV. Oh man, look at that fridge too. It's got that like cabinet style look. That's neat. And it's got a big old bathroom right here separating it from the king suite. or the master bedroom, whatever you call it. I like it. I think that'll do it for this room right here. We're gonna head on over to this room on this side. And last year, this is where all the lighter weight campers were, like the pop-ups and things. It's looking like a bunch of golf carts this year. Maybe we'll find some, I don't know. Let's go in here and take a look. Yeah, that's a little disappointing. They used to have campers from here all the way to the back wall, and it looks like it's a bunch of golf carts. They got it kind of sectioned off back there too, like it's blocked. And then a bunch of vendors up here that you can, you know, that sell stuff for when you go camping to help you out. I don't know, man. That's kind of disappointing. I was really looking forward to seeing more campers in this room, especially the lightweight ones. But, you know, times we're in, I guess. Though I will say, if you are in uh, the market for a golf cart, these are not disappointing at all. $10,000 for this one. Heck, this one over here, look how sharp that is. Let me zoom out. That's pretty sharp. It even has turn signals and things up in the mirror. And the sign on the front says all carts are street legal and come with a VIN and a title. I could see me hot rodding down to uh, Magic Kingdom in this thing off I-4. That would be, that'd be a lot of fun. Look at this one. It's like the stretch limo of golf carts right here. It's got a second seat in the back. Wow. Now I was whining because there wasn't campers over here, but if you turn, they might have moved them down on this side. You can see back there, there's some smaller campers. So we're gonna go check them out, see if we can find one that we like that we can tow with the Jeep. 
There we go. See, there's no way I could stay in this for two months in Florida, but I would love to have something like this to tow with the Jeep. It's just a bed with a TV, and so good lord, dude, look at all those. Oh, I don't know. I thought all those were speakers, but they're not. Got solar panel, a big huge awning. That would be very cool to take off road. Let's see what's back here. It says it's Sasquatch proof. I got the kitchen back here. That is really neat. Everything you need in like a little overlanding setup. I like it. These little guy campers are pretty cool too. I've uh, I've considered these. They make some setups that may work for us, but they're still a little tight. But I mean, like I said before, beggars can't be choosers. You can't get a small camper that isn't tight, obviously. But these things are nice looking. Yeah, see, I could I could totally see myself camping out here if we didn't have a child. Ha adding that little kid into the mix, it shrinks these campers down like crazy. <laughs> little kids take up a lot of space, just so you know. This little guy, Max, is pretty cool. It's 3140 pounds, $37,000. Got your little kitchen up front, your table, I mean. A little shower, let's see what the shower looks like. Huh. Get two things done at once. <laughs> you got your toilet in your shower together. And then you got your little kitchen here. Like a fridge. Probably need a bigger fridge. Little pantry. Oh, I like the TV right here. I could lay down right there, watch some TV, and relax. Yeah, see, I actually like that one. I think I could spend a month or two in that. It is a little pricey. $37,000 a little bit out of our price range. But it is a very nice camper. So I can't really knock it for that price. It's just out of my price range. I've seen these new camps around since we've been looking for a camper. And they are fancy fancy for a little camper. $30,995. Look at that like space door. It not look like something you'd like open up and be like. Whoosh, whoosh. I don't know. It just does to me. But anyways, let's go in here and, and look at it. $30,000. I mean, I like it. A little small for me for especially 30 uh some thousand dollars but i mean if you had the money this would make yourself a nice camper right here lots of storage bathroom that pretty much does it for the smaller campers that i wanted to look at um not bad all at all i kind of like that one down at the end that little mini max kind of like that one the best i think it would accommodate us for a while all right, we're leaving that room and going into our last room, but they even have campers outside. So it's not, you know, we're not about finished with this, but I did notice that they do have fresh squeezed lemonade. I am so thirsty right now. I'm going to have to get me some of that. I love going to stuff like this and getting lemonade. Mm. All right, here we go. Our last room of the RV show. And by the way, I got orangeade instead of lemonade. I've never had freshly squeezed orangeade, so I had to give it a try. Let me tell you, it's good. It's really good. I'm telling you, it's good. All right, here's a quick glance of us walking into the last room here. Show price, $15,995. That's what that sign says back there and we'll point with my straw. <laughs> got some pop-ups here. This may be something that we can get into, kind of look around at. It's Viking, seventeen nine ninety five. Wonder if it's uh, light enough for me to tow. Not bad looking. I don't know if I could spend two months in there, but we can make it work. I think they made it into this Geo Pro, and I'm kind of liking it. I'll show you the outside of it here in a second. It's got a little kitchen here and some bunks over there. And of course this turns into a bed as well. It's kind of nice what they packed into this little small camper. Toilet there. It's even got a little bathtub right there. What I thought was cool. I think that's a sink. Yeah, I think you can like brush your teeth in this and all. Is there, a, yeah, there's a drain in there. I like this one. And here's the outside of that Geo Pro. Got a little like flat top grill here. We bought a Blackstone the other day. I've been using that thing like crazy. I love flat top grills. Power awning, little ladder on the back. It's a nice little camper. Now, I wasn't gonna put this on video until I went inside. Look at this, 17,995, 17, or 177BH Wildwood FSX. 
for $18,000. You got bunks, table, kitchen. You're missing an oven, but no big deal. I don't think we really need an oven. Who cooks that much on vacation? If I did, I might bring a little grill with me and cook out on the picnic table or something like that. I love this camper. If I was going to store this in Florida, I would totally get this. Nice little bathroom here. Like a, a big fridge with a freezer up top. Oh man, this is nice. I like it a lot. It's tons of storage and everything. See, I definitely think, even though this is small, I think I could make this work for a month or two in Florida, right? What do you say let's head on into this one and dream a little bit? $89,995 for this one. It's a fifth wheel, I think. Yep, fifth wheel. Look at this. I'm telling you all, this could be my house. I could live in this. I like how the couch faces the TV. That's the biggest thing. And then you got your own separate little kitchen here. Let's head up the stairs here and look at the bathroom. This is sharp. Well, bud. King bed, I think. What's in there? You don't know nothing, or you don't know? No. Big closet, almost a walk-in closet. I guess if you're skinny, not like me. No. Storage here, TV. Then they got a kid's room back there. Let's go check that out. If you walk from there into here, you're in the kid's room. And check this out, they've got a couch down here, pull-down bunk. I don't know what's behind that. I'm guessing another bed and another bunk. They have their own TV and absolutely a ton of storage. And what's really important is they have their own bathroom. This is like a whole separate living quarters for kids back here. Got air ducts for um, air conditioning and things. This is sharp. Could you imagine being a kid and getting to go to Disney World and stay in something like this? Get to ride your bike and things? Check out what's in here. Got a Shoney's cup. That's so cool. Wonder if it comes with a camper. Oh, we go to Florida. They have a Shoney's in Kissimmee, and I love it. We eat there a thousand times. I didn't notice it when we got in, but this is the outdoor kitchen right here. It has a sink and a little grill and fridge. This is a nice one, y'all. I know I keep saying this is nice, this is nice. It's because they're all nice, honestly. All right, we did some talking with the dealer on that smaller camper with the little bunks, the one before the last one I showed you. And I'm getting kind of excited. That would be nice to have something like that down in Florida. But we're going to take a look at these Airstreams right now. And I like some Airstreams, but I have to tell you, these things are, they are really expensive. Oh, wow, look at this one. It's got the off-road wheels and tires on it and everything. That's cool. Let's go back to the Airstreams. Now, this is called a base camp, and I have seen them before at dealerships, and they are sharp. Maybe for two people or, or so, but they are very nice. Some of a nice price too. This one is $62,995. All right, here we go, base camp, Airstream. See, I told you these things are nice. Looks like a retro spaceship or something, doesn't it? It's the bathroom, it's got a shower curtain and a door. What is that over there? I don't know what that is. If you all know, let me know. It's got a little cover for your toilet paper too. So it doesn't get wet from the shower. That is neat. But yeah, if you don't know, these, a lot of the times you see a table in a camper, they do make a bed. So that's probably going to make a bed. And there's your kitchen. It's a neat little camper. All right, I knew I had to show this one. Like, my gosh, this is a beast out here. Look at the storage and the kitchen, a little outdoor kitchen. Golly, have you noticed on those RV TV shows that people will like get in there and lay down? I don't know why they do that, but they always do it. It's usually the men too. It's kind of funny. Let's go in here. Look, look at the peak in there. Golly. All right, let's turn to the right and let these people get out <laughs> and look here first. Oh man, the loft up here. Wow. 
Big bed in here. Nice bedroom. Here is the bathroom. Wow. Fancy, fancy. I'm telling you all this. Some real deal camping right here. Roughing it. In the kitchen. In the living room area. What's really cool is if you open this door, you got a kid's room in here. This is like the Transformers of all campers. Pull down bunk bed thing right there. TV, little office desk to do some homework on. Yeah, let's look in here. Wow. Now I came back into the master bedroom that I already showed you because I wanted to show you this closet. Look, like, those are the doors. It was like that when I came in. You open the doors and look at this closet. How awesome. And what's up with the hot and cold water here? I know that's for like a laundry machine and stuff, a washing machine. Where do you put it? Does it fit in there? I don't know, y'all help me out. Right here is the front of the camper that we just walked out of, the $102,000 one. And we're in another one like it. I wanna show you this, this is the rear bathroom. This is the rear bedroom, not the master bedroom. The master bedroom is up there. So it has two full bedrooms and two full bathrooms. And let's walk in here and look at the kitchen and stuff. Now I know you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but right there's the price. 105,000 for this. Holy moly. If you turn from the kitchen, they have a big ladder that goes over that that, ba that bedroom we just left, and a huge loft. Two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. Thing is huge in there. Wow. Now we're gonna head from the kitchen up to the master bathroom and bedroom. Same kind of bathroom as the last one. Absolutely awesome. And same kind of bedroom. Kind of like this layout better. They have two two bedrooms in it on top of a loft. So you got like tons of space in here. For a hundred and five, hundred two thousand dollars somewhere around that. This is a nice house. I wish I had the money to call it a nice camper, but if I bought something like this, it would probably have to be a nice house. Y'all, I'm telling you, it's super easy to start getting lost in all this mess. These are such nice campers. Oh my gosh, like, I, I just got a little Jeep to tow with. And I'm sitting here looking at big fifth wheels. I'm like, can I sell my Jeep? Can I buy a truck? Can I do this? Like, it's pretty exciting. Camping's a lot of fun and these campers are awesome. See, this one right here goes all the way back there. 69829. This could be a home. Could it not? Okay, so this is the kitchen area, obviously. This is the bedroom area. This is gonna be the master as well. And look at this bathroom. It's got the dual sinks there, the double sinks. All those cabinets, it's more storage than what I have in my house. Nice sit down place in the shower now we're gonna head back in here it says please stay off sweetie and look at the living room but before we go up to the living room they have a second bathroom right here for guests and things so you don't have to walk back through the bedroom so now we're gonna go up to the living room Check this out. You've got your electric fireplace. I'm sure these couches make beds too, if not one, all of them. Or if not all of them, one. I guess that's the way I should have said it. Is this not a house, y'all? I mean, this has to be a house, right? You could live in this, right? Our last stop at the show is gonna be here at Camper's Inn RV. Look, at that. it looks like grass down here. It looks like we're walking through a fence and going to some grass. We're gonna camp inside the camping show. All right, next up over here is the Freedom Express, made by Coachman, 29,000. We're gonna check out this thing.
See what it's like. Kitchen in the back, or at least fridge in the back. I don't know why I said kitchen. Nice little couch right, Chad. And a bedroom. No place to store your children, though. No. <laughs> Is that the correct terminology? What, store the children? Yes. Not even gonna lie, seeing this many campers is a little overwhelming. You got 50 blue zillion options to choose from. Now before we head out, I figured I would show a pop-up because I haven't done that yet. But look at these prices on pop-ups, $23,995. Let's go in here and check it out. Got a nice little couch there. Nice little dining area too, wow. And then look at this kitchen. That's nice as well. And we've got a toilet here, which is nice. I don't think I'd ever use the shower in this, but for the toilet, you don't hook, most of the time, you don't hook to their sewage line at the campground. You carry that waste on board with you, and then you have to roll like a suitcase looking thing out and dump it. So if I was going to stay in this for a month or two, I don't know if I'd want to deal with that. But this is actually really nice for a weekend trip or something. Got air conditioning up there, a slot out. It's a really nice pop-up, I have to admit. But it is $23,995. I think that's going to do it for us here at the NC RVDA. That stands for North Carolina RV Dealers Association, too. Just so you know, I just saw that on the way out the door. So that's 2023's NCRVDA. And uh, I had a good time, you know, we were looking at some campers, considering some campers. I don't know how far that'll go. But one of these days, we might get us one, store it down in Florida, because we got in there so much, it probably would save us some money to just go ahead and do that. But I gotta worry about, you know, storms down there, maybe messing it up and me not knowing because I'm all the way in North Carolina. Lots of things that I need to process about that, but I don't know if we could make it work, it'd be fun. With that being said, I think it's time to head on home, drink my coffee and relax. And maybe consider spending a lot of money. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you all have fun looking at all the campers here for the NCRV DA 2023 Expo in Charlotte, North Carolina. I think I got all those words out. <laughs> but yep, yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for playing. Bye. Once we made it to the Jeep, I found a really cool little surprise someone left me. A duck. If you didn't know it, for whatever reason, if you drive a Jeep, people duck your Jeeps. And I got ducked today. It's a good day. <laughs>